All right. Let me sound like the test dummies, you know? Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I like the box being there, so when people join, they they see it and sit, think, "Oh, hey, maybe I'll subscribe to this asshole." Right now. Not so much. All right, enough shit. Okay, or we can do that. <coughs> I still love this game, and I love the driving. It's really fucking awesome. It really is. It's realistic as hell. It makes it difficult, and I haven't really had a game that's so difficult like this, you know. So I love it. I really do. You would think I'm getting paid by fucking 2K, but I'm not. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the stuff I have up there, right there, so you guys can see it. <coughs> You're late. Dinner's cold. Work. I fucking love them. <sighs> Much better, I think. <sighs> Much better. Start writing everything down, like the chapters and all that, and titling it better. Maybe even I'll start it during the series. Hey, buddy. I'm not gonna go back and do it. What's done is done. I gotta learn. <laughs> We have a mole, Tom. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I agree. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. No way. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. <coughs> Catch up the front. It's you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. 
After that, you do what we gotta do. I don't know. I'd rather work for Frank than you. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. But I guess if you're gonna make me second hand, man. I mean, clearly Tommy's a rat in this motherfucker out, anyways, but. I guess this is why it's always so long, it's because I'm over here exploring shit. Tommy. What's up, buddy? <clears throat> Tough day today, Tom. Whose day was tough? I feel like there's that kind of shit fucking chilling all over this place and I should just need to go look for it, but I'm not going to because... We gotta keep a lid on this town. Start with Biff, but don't give him up. I gotta I have to just do it all at once. There's something special here, if you want it. Oh, hell yeah, I want it. When Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. The old ways work. You gotta get those books back before the feds use them against us. <laughs> and now for the latest news. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill Frank. This is so fucked. I wonder if these Asian people are gonna be mad at me. Oh, hey, what's going on? We got a viewer here. Go ahead and comment, you know. Say what's up, you know what it is. What's the rumpus? Yeah, what's going on, bro? Uh, here, yeah, this. Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Mm, yeah. Depends. Huh. What's it worth to you? Twenty um, bucks. How about forty? How about your life? Spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Fine, little Tony. Can I search the back of your shit? And I didn't give you any money. A pleasure, <coughs> Tommy. Yeah, man, I'm... Okay. Man. It's always nice when one person joins and then, you know, you're super excited and then boom, you fucking leave right away. I mean, you, you see nothing. You see nothing. What's up? Yeah, sure, everything's great. What's over here? I want all this stuff. Hey, what's what's going on, man? Nah, no, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that council of Gilates <laughs> brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Uh, 
Game 7 of the 1933 Gold Series takes place today. The Lost Heaven Lancers play the Empire Bay Cannons at the Armory with one team certain to take home the trophy. After a heroic campaign filled with, exhilar filled with exhilarating twists, Captain Bunny Smith will lead his men onto the diamond to play the Lancers' first series victory in over two decades. <clears throat> Shiz, dog. I don't even know what that means because I don't watch baseball. And that sounded like baseball. Let me just read that again because that just sounded like Japanese. The Lost Heaven, play the yeah, Armory, Trophy. Maybe that's not baseball. I have Captain my Gold Series. I don't fucking, I don't even know what the fuck that that is. I don't know. Is that like fucking fencing? Fencing? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I was like, my God, I'm so happy right now. This, oh my God, dude, there's cops everywhere. Looks like the place. What place is this? <clears throat> yeah, this guy can drive stick really good in this game. I can't. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being Gotta stay by back, Swift you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. It's not only so a it's guaranteed to increase focus uh. and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. <sighs> We are coming to a close. Let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core. Where are they moving you to? Keep talking about this this uh, news that's happening. I feel like I should be able to listen to it. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Maybe I get copyrighted. Just to find out. No. I don't. I don't want to fucking do it. <laughs> All right, come. <coughs> Whoa, whoa, bro. Gotta be some kind of meat happening. Okay, I'm getting a little bit too close and driving a little bit too reckless. Oh my god, dude. Why are they driving so slow? They're driving like they've fucking got 10 pounds of heroin in their car or something. Shit. They taking you to the airport, Frank. Yeah, he's leaving, bro. He's out of bro. He's out of Keep 
my distance, you know what I'm saying? This car is so fucking slow. It's not obvious. You know, imagine if you've seen that, like, you like, is that person following me? They just cut somebody off to fucking make sure they fall, Christ. take the left with They're you. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. I'm gonna kill him in an airport. Oh, this is bullshit. Weird. Hey, Frank, you know? How you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Alright. So. I just wanna go on a sneak. Sneaky sneak. Sneak. There's somebody on the side there. How am I gonna get in? Okay, that just going in perfect. Informant handover, 1200, we shut down airport. Okay, so at 12, they're going to shut down the airport. At 1, they're going to uh, informant and FBI escort, leave safe house. So informant is Frank. Oh, shit, he's informing to the feds for real, for real. 115, informant exchange and taken to hangar 5. Uh, we get accounts after informant handed over. So, okay, so they're... Frank has to be handed over in order for them to get the information so we can still stop him in time. So let's see, can we get out through here? Really? You're not gonna let me catch up to Frank. So it's just weird, like, how am I supposed to do this, really? Am I supposed to just sneak up and kill this dude? Okay, I guess so, that works. Uh, let me see. Okay, I don't have a Tommy gun yet, or nothing like that, so that works. Um, I'm gonna... hold nothing for now. Morello hasn't the honor to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. Try to click... Right stick. But instead, my brain just told me to click the left stick, because...
Don Morello's plane is waiting for Coletti in one of the hangars. Oh my god. Fuck this. You just eat this shit, dude. Come on, really? You guys are fucking around now. You're like, oh, we'll let you get up there, but not all the way up. figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet? I'm not so stupid, Tom. They're safe. Morello was waiting... ...for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. I really didn't. get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. 
I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Come on, let him go, Tommy. God damn you, Frank. Sir? Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Downstairs? Beautiful day, huh? Well, yeah. huh? Keeping out of trouble, I hope. Yeah, fuck you. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. That's fucking weird. Uh, this is seeming like a setup so far. There's so much open space, it's like there's, okay, so there's definitely something hiding around here. I've never been to a bank like this, but if this is what banks were like today, like every bank, that'd be kind of crazy. Underground and shit. Got the books, he covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Damn, that's deep. Omerta is uh, silence. You know, 
You never fucking, you never rat. Never fucking go to the police. And Frank broke that shit. That's deep.